Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and we are currently at one of our whitetail setups and we're going to be going throughout them all today. However, we're actually not going to be hunting whitetail. We are going to be hunting for some mule deer because a lot of the good whitetail lakes are also the good mule deer lakes and I thought it might be cool to try and grind for some big rare mule deer. I also still badly want to get a better looking rack for a dilute diamond because the only dilute diamond that we ever got was the really broken rack that is twisted backwards so I'd like to get one that's a little bit nicer looking than that. So I figured today we might as well grind a little bit of mule deer just kind of see what we can get and I'm really hoping that we can get some cool stuff. But I guess without further ado, we should try and take out a few of these. We're going to see if we can get them to come to a call. I highly doubt it, though. They're a little bit farther away, I believe, than what this call's range is. Yeah, so they did not want to come to the call. But let's go ahead and try to get in there and take out that guy, I guess. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get these super easily. And especially if he keeps turning like that. There we go, we managed to get that nice four. Now as with any grinding video, I'm not going to show off every single deer that we kill because I'm probably going to kill close to a hundred of them today and that would just be an excessively long video, but anytime we have something nice like this guy, then we will be showing it as normal. Let's uh, try to get a couple shots on these real quickly. And that should be decent right there. I don't know if the second was vitals, but it looks like it is. And these ones did not spook off. Just like that, we got four of them down. And possibly a fifth. Yeah, I think that guy right there was the fifth one. And then we also have some pretty far away over here. I just wanted to show pretty much all of what you can see from here because it's kind of crazy. From this stand location alone, you can see a zone over here where we just shot a couple bucks. You can see a zone over here where we shot a few bucks and then you can also see the zone clear over here. It's pretty incredible just how many mule deer drink at this lake. And it's crazy that you don't even need to change around your great one grinding setups to be able to go for these. You can still see all of them from the exact same stands, which is pretty awesome. Definitely makes it easier to grind them. So I believe this right here is one of the threes. I'm not entirely sure where the four went. I know we shot a four over here. I'm going to assume that it's probably this guy. Yeah, this is the four. Uh, kind of a wonky looking one, but wow, only a silver. That's kind of crazy. Ooh, there we go. There's another deer. Might as well take that out as it runs by. I believe this right here is that level four. And yeah, it definitely is 235.20. That is the best buck of the day, though it is not a giant by any means. Well, that's a really nice thing to see. You guys can probably tell that I have not hunted a lot of mule deer on my map because not only was that a brand new zone, but that's also a albino right there along with a couple decent level fours. I have not really thoroughly hunted the map at least. We hunted them a little bit on live stream once, but we didn't check everything and we've got ourselves an albino right here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing that's interesting about the rares for mule deer is... For some reason, the piebald seems to have a much higher chance to spawn than the albinos and the melanistics, making it almost an uncommon and not a rare, though I think it's kind of in between of sorts. It's definitely not as easy to find as an uncommon, but they're definitely not as rare as the albino or the melanistic, which is uh, definitely interesting. Never expected them to do it that way, but I guess it is what it is. It just gives us more chances to get big piebalds, I guess. But this is definitely a lot more cool than a piebald. So once it lifts its head, let's try to take it out. There we go. And what's even cooler is that is actually a pretty decent looking level three. Like that is not too bad at all. You know, it's not too often that we actually use our whitetail setups for anything else, but today we actually got to. We're actually getting to use our whitetail setup for something a little bit different, and it's nice to see that it actually works really, really well, and that's a really awesome looking albino right there. Oh my gosh, it's actually a gold level three, so this rack sometimes can be on the level fours. That's pretty cool. 
And you know, it's kind of fitting that we would find ourselves an albino today because the whole reason that I even wanted to do this today was because I had a crazy hunt a couple nights ago where we ended up finding something really cool and the cool stuff just kept happening. But I am going to save the other trophies for a later video because uh, the way something happened in it was incredibly crazy and I want to kind of dedicate it to its own video but I do want to show off one thing that I did end up getting that night and we're actually going to take a look at it now uh, as you can see right here I was doing some multiplayer hunting late at night so there's no commentary over it I'll just have to kind of explain what's going on but I spotted what I thought to be possibly a melanistic mule deer but I wasn't entirely sure I didn't really get that good of a look at it so I spotted it and I tried to get a little bit closer and when I got close enough I did end up seeing where they were bedded and I tried to get a shot on them I did actually end up getting an angle and taking a shot but I ended up shooting the wrong deer I didn't realize that there was quite a few different herds in the area and I saw one that looked darker than the rest. Uh, in reality, it was just shadows, but I thought that it was the one. Sadly, it wasn't. Then I went around and started collecting all the tracks and realized that there actually was a melanistic. After shooting that first one that ended up just being a common, I kind of just thought that maybe I was seeing things and it was just shadows, but then after finding that track, then I knew that everything was for real and there was a melanistic. So the search continued for another 20 to 30 minutes, just trying to figure out where that guy even went to. And then eventually I did end up finding them and we were able to get a solid shot into it. It was one of the nicer melanistics I've seen in a long time, so that was absolutely amazing. And what's crazy is it actually looks very similar to this albino that we just got. So I'm pretty happy with how this is going so far. We're having pretty much matching rare mule deer, which is great. But this was definitely one of the nicest melanistics I've killed in ages. I think the last two that I've seen have been pretty small, so it was nice to get a good sized one. And now we've got a good albino to match. And there is our level 4 right there, 238.20, a very solid deer. It's actually got a very similar rack to that albino, uh, just a little bit bigger and without the stickers, so kind of cool. So that's a pretty good looking level 4 there. Let's uh, see if we can get it to stop moving and then get a shot into it real quickly. I think we should be able to. I'm going to assume that hit. It definitely seems like it should have, and oh, it didn't. Well then, that's interesting. We got a dilute, so... I guess we will take that instead. It is uh, quite unfortunate that that level 4 ended up getting away because it was a pretty good one, but we did get this little dilute down, so at least we managed to get a buck out of it. You guys might also be wondering why we are not visiting the Mule Deer hotspot in the top right of the map today, and well, long story short, I removed my tent that was up there to dedicate it towards the Great One grind, so we no longer even have a tent up here, uh, which is why we're not going to be hunting that spot for Mule Deer today. We're just going to stick to the lakes that I actually have tents on, because I don't feel like taking down some of my Great One grinding stuff just to dedicate it towards one Mule Deer video, so... We're not going to be doing that lake, unfortunately. It's uh, a great lake, but just uh, takes a long time to get there if you don't have a tent. Well, that right there is a pretty solid looking level 4, so he's definitely going to be the first one that we shoot this time around. And then we got a couple more bucks in there that we will try to get, but this guy's definitely the top priority. That is a beautiful mule deer. So let's go ahead and get it down. And I think we got the other two good as well. We definitely got one of them, and yeah, this guy's hit pretty good too. Let's uh, get one more into him. So there's our level 4 and probably the biggest mule deer of the day, and it definitely is at 298.30. Let's hope we can get ourselves a level 5 respawn out of this one. That is a beautiful looking buck. Very good looking level 4. Hello there, sir. Well then, I was uh, going up to claim a couple small bucks and this level 4 just ran out of nowhere. 263.10, not a bad deer at all, and we actually got a pretty good shot on it, and there's another one. Let's uh, just get this guy down as well. Another 4. Sadly, uh, didn't quite get as good of shots as I would have liked on it, but I mean, doesn't really matter at the end of the day. 
It's another four down, and that is all we care about. Well, that's a level five. I can't quite tell what rack it is. I think that's the troll, though. Yep, that's the troll rack. Well, <laughs> that's uh, quite unfortunate. We finally get a level five to spawn, and it's a guaranteed troll, so... Yeah, that's rough. Let's see if we can at least get them out of there and maybe get a shot into him. That's just so sad that after all this time, the five that we get is a troll and a guaranteed troll at that pretty much. Ooh, we almost got a shot there. And in fact, there we go. Finally managed to get a shot in there and we somehow got a neck shot on that other buck. That was wild. Well, here it is. Here is our level five, and it is the troll rack indeed. If it has enough tip to tip spread, it might have a small chance of barely making it. I have seen one of these make it in the past, but never got close myself. And that is uh, still the case with this one being a 308.30. Man, that's that's unfortunate. It's a kind of a wonky one too. This uh, tine right here bends back a little bit more than this side does, which is uh, kind of cool. Uh, definitely an interesting level five, just sadly not a diamond. Oh my gosh, there's another five literally at the next zone and it's once again the troll rack. Ah oh man, that is, that's so sad. We got two fives to spawn in on the same run, but they're both trolls. That is just crazy. I've never had that happen before. Getting two mule deer on the same run and both of them being the troll rack. That is so sad. Well, not really uh, too worried about what shot we get on it, although we did manage to get vitals. That's just so unfortunate. I really wish that we could just find ourselves a uh, big diamond with the uh, dilute fur type, but instead we're getting common trolls and blonde trolls, so <laughs> that's uh, unfortunate. Though, I guess at the same time, I can't really complain too much. We did get an albino towards the beginning of this uh, hunt, but just did not get a big diamond. Well, here it is. Let's uh, hope it has that slight chance of being high enough score, but I doubt it. Yeah, this one's actually even lower than before, and I guess it also was the blonde fur type. That's sad. That's two trolls, both 308 or below in score. Uh, not looking so good for the five so far. Let's uh, hope this next five that we find is gonna be a little bit better, and hopefully it happens soon. Well, I think this is a good trophy to uh, end things off on. We finally got one of them to respawn as a dilute. Unfortunately, it's just a three, and our goal of this grind is to kind of get either some big rares or another dilute diamond. Unfortunately, this guy's nowhere near diamond, but it is a dilute, so let's uh, get that down real quickly, and that guy as well. There is our first dilute respawn right there. Now, we did shoot a dilute earlier in the video, but since I've never really hunted the mule deer on my map besides like the hot spot at the top right, we had never actually had any chances to get a respawn one, so that would have been an initial spawn, but this is our first respawn dilute. Uh, definitely not the size we're looking for, but still cool to get a couple of them to uh, spawn in. So hopefully we can get some more in the future. So our new Melanistic and Albino are definitely not big enough to replace this one or this one right here. However, our Melanistic is big enough to replace this one if I'm not mistaken. So let's actually take a look at them. Yeah, 245 is definitely a lot better than the 236 we had here before. And actually, now that I think of it, Wait a second, this actually might be bigger than that other one. Let's uh, go take a look at that again. Well, I'll be, it is. Okay, so I guess just because of the way this rack looks, I thought it was a higher scoring one, but this is actually our new personal best melanistic. That is awesome. And I believe this guy's not really our personal best albino. I've got that in a different lodge, but this is the best looking one we have. It's got that kind of white tail style rack, so it's gonna stay here until we get something just absolutely huge. And then here's that uh, ugly diamond dilute that we're trying to eventually replace with a good looking one. Now, I honestly don't know where we could put these other mule deer now because I didn't expect to be replacing that one. So yeah, this is a... Uh, gonna be a little bit different than what I had planned. 
But I suppose we will just move this guy in here now since we replaced him in the other room and as far as that smaller melanistic that was here and the new albino, I guess they're gonna go in one of our secondary lodges. Well, here is that albino. It went in our uh, backup to the backup to the backup to the backup lodge. We've uh, got a lot of lodges at this point. I honestly need to be more selective with the stuff I taxidermize. Right now, I taxidermize every rare male along with every diamond that we get and well, because of that, we are overflowing in all of our lodges to the point where I'm just going to have way too many of them at some point in the very near future. We need to uh, try to narrow down the amount of stuff that we have, which uh, once they add some more sorting features into the trophy manager, I'll probably do that. But right now, it's just so difficult to go through everything and delete the trophies that you no longer want so I'm probably gonna wait till they uh, make some changes to that and then we will kind of reorganize everything but I think that's gonna be it for the video if you guys enjoyed be sure to subscribe click the like button and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video also let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see me hunt for in one of the future videos and also let me know if you want me to continue the mule deer grind in a uh, series of grinding videos and if enough of you want to see that then we'll end up doing it but with that being said thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one Peace.